Right, so this is question seven, we parabola, and I'm wanting you just to work out the actual equation, isn't it? That's it there, okay, in this form. So what we've got is we look at the turning point, and they're wanting you to work out what's A and B. Now this turning point, obviously it's got X and Y coordinates for the turning point, okay? How they translate into this equation is X is minus A, and y is just b, okay? So the value that you get for the x coordinate, you're essentially always changing the sign in front of it to fit into this equation, and the value you get for the b coordinate is just the y coordinate. Now, it's easier if I actually just demonstrate it. So what we've got here is the equation would be y equals x, now it's 2 here, so it's going to be minus 2, Square that, and this is b, and b is actually just taken directly from the y coordinate, and that's minus 4. Okay, so that's obviously you see that in the form of completing the square. Okay, so that value here is at x coordinate of the turning point, but you just flip the sign, so it would be a plus 2 here, and this value is the actual y coordinate of the turning point. Okay, so what we've got here is when they're saying state the values. We have a is equal to minus 2, and we have b is, if you can see that, sorry, b is equal to minus 4. Okay, and that's for your two marks there. Now, if they're asking you what's the equation of the line of symmetry, now I'll try and draw this line of symmetry, obviously with every parabola, it's symmetric at the turning point, okay? And the line of symmetry is just as equal to the x coordinate of the turning point, so that's x equal to. So that's your line of symmetry, is just x equal to. Okay, so it's basically, don't need to write this, but it's the x coord of turning point. That's all it is. So that's answer to question 7.